In this course, we are going to learn a programming language called C Sharp. It does not matter if you have any programming experience or not. We are going to start it from zero. Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani. So let's get started. So first of all, what C Sharp is? C Sharp is an object oriented, machine independent and type safe programming language. It is a general purpose programming language by using some frameworks you can create multiple kind of application in C Sharp. It was created in 2000 by Microsoft. Microsoft introduced C Sharp along with .NET Framework and Visual Studio, both of which were closed source that time. For so long, .NET development was restricted to Windows platform only. But now you can use it in multiple platforms like Mac and Linux and it is now an open source programming language. So let's talk about some advantages of C Sharp languages. It is easy to learn, highly scalable. It has large community. If you are stuck somewhere in your code, you can easily find solution on the internet. You can develop C Sharp applications in multiple platforms like Windows, Linux, Mac. With C Sharp, you can create a wide range of applications. You can create desktop application, you can create Windows applications, you can create web application using .NET framework. You can develop games using Unity and it is the most popular game engine in the market right now. You can create mobile, Android and iOS application using Xamarin. You can create services on cloud. You can also write client side application using Blazor. You can create IoT application using .NET IoT libraries like .NET Nano or Mido. It also provides a machine learning framework like ML.NET. You can build almost everything with C Sharp. In order to start C Sharp development, we need a IDE that is called Visual Studio. It is a software where you are going to write or execute your programs. First of all, we need to install an IDE which is Visual Studio. For that, open your browser and type here download visual studio and click on this icon sorry link and we are gonna select this community version it is a free so here click on free download and it is going to be installed soon okay now it has downloaded okay click on this file and select yes and click on continue a good amount of time it will take a good amount of time it, it is not going to be installed so quickly and i already have installed the visual studio in my computer so I cannot move further from here, but I'm going to tell you that you have to select this one ASP.NET and web development. Please do not forget to select this one and you are good to go. It is not going to be a very difficult process. You will do it. I know. So once the installation is finished, we will create a new project. Now we are going to create our first program in the C Sharp. For that, we need to create a project and we need to open this software which is called Visual Studio. So let's click here. Now click here, create a new project. And now we are going to select console here so let's find where is console yeah this one we are gonna select this one console app a project for creating command line application that run on dotnet windows linux and mac os so click on next now let's name this project
let's name it C sharp tutorial that's it and click on next you can change your location I'm fine with this location you can change wherever you want to store your project so click on next again click here on create now our project has created and it is the default template given by Microsoft so let's run this project for running this project you have to click on this icon click here and it is the output of this program hello world which is written here hello world that's it so let's change it hello let's change it to hello there that's fine and let's run it again so it is printing hello there so that's how we run our program so now let's talk about the execution process in dotnet so first of all we write our code in any editor it is our code it is called a native code that is written in c sharp here but it can be written in any .NET framework languages like f sharp vb or any other language that is supported by .NET framework but in our case it is a c sharp so we will consider c sharp here so first of all we write a code that is called native code then when we try to execute it first it will be executed into msil or cil msil stands for microsoft intermediate language or cil stands for common intermediate language this cil code is machine independent it means you can put it into any machine wherever you want to use it and you can use this code in any machine wherever you want so it is not a machine independent sorry so it is not a machine dependent code it is totally independent code it is called msil this msil is handled by clr which is a part of dotnet execution we are not going to talk about it right now so this code is handled by clr and clr has a component called git compiler git compiler then convert this cil into machine code that is a binary code which is understandable by a computer so that's the execution process in dotnet framework now we will talk about comments and comments are the code that is ignored by a compiler so we have two types of comments first one a single line comment that is this author Ravindra and we have this multiple line comment and it is done like this author course C sharp and platform YouTube etc so it is called comment and these lines do not get compiled they are completely ignored by a compiler so it is used to provide some additional information so that in future you can understand this code much more clearly so that's it for this video if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed this channel then please subscribe that channel so we will catch up in next video See you next time.